Hey guys, welcome to video number three. We're just moving right along in our Python journey. And in this video, I'm going to show you strings in more detail. In the previous video, I kind of touched on the subject. I showed you the difference between, you know, something like an integer and a string. But at this point, let's go deeper into string and we can understand basically more about how strings work. So I'll go ahead and switch over here to my laptop and let's go ahead and get into our Python shell. Now, just to recap, we talked about the print statement. We could just do print and in quotes. I'm just gonna go ahead and shorten that to hello. And we, it just basically prints exactly what we type in the quotes there. And the print statement is useful if you want a program to print the results of something. So if you're curious, how is this gonna help me? Well, when we get further along, you will be able to use the print statement to print the results of a function or any kind of information that you feel is necessary. But you already know how to use a print statement from the previous video. So one thing I didn't mention is it doesn't have to be double quotes. You could use single quote quotes. So I'll go ahead and do that. We get the same results, but you know, we have to be consistent. We can't actually do that. Notice I used a single quote and a double quote. So whatever you use, you do need to be consistent and make sure that you use matching quotation marks. And that might sound like a really easy thing. Well, duh. Well, actually, I can't count how many times I mistyped it and had the wrong quote and couldn't really figure it out. So, you know, that kind of thing does happen. So, you know, with the double quotes, it works. And with the single quotes, it works. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that control L will clear the screen. So now, you know, I, I just forgot to mention that. So you'll see me clear the screen in between each of the uh, individual sections as we go along. So to get more involved into strings, sometimes we actually want to print the quote marks. So I'm gonna just type a longer print statement here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready. And what I'm gonna type is, my name is J, nice to meet you. And this won't work. Again, you probably already knew that wouldn't work. What's happening here, to Python, everything within the quotes is a string, right? So it sees this part as a string, and it sees this part as a string as well. But right here, it's not quoted. It doesn't know what to do with that. So just to further bring that home, if I was to go ahead and just remove the uh, characters that are in between the quotes here. I just put a space in there to make it look nicer. It works fine because it's just printing two strings. I mean, it'd be the same thing as if I, you know, I could put any, any characters in between these two quotes, but because I actually had something in between them, you know, Python doesn't know what to do with that. It's just going to uh, show you an error. Actually, it's an exception. It's going to, it's giving you a syntax error, which is an exception telling you that your syntax is wrong. Python doesn't understand what you're trying to do here and it needs you to fix that. So how do we actually fix that? We really do wanna print those quotes, don't we? Because we wanna be kind of formal, we want the quotes to show up, but what we can do is we can actually escape the quotes by just putting a backslash in front of them. And now what happens if I press enter? It actually works. You can see here, that since I escaped the quotes, it went ahead and printed those out. So that was able to allow me to make sure that the quotes are part of the output there. And that's not the only way that you can actually do that because if I go back to my original one, which doesn't work, what we could do is just simply change two of the quotes. Let's just change those to single quote quotes. Let's see what that does. And it works just fine. I didn't need to escape them out because they're different quotes. So Python is smart enough to know, hey, you know, you got a single quote. So this must be the end right over here of the statement. And then it knows that, you know, that's a different, that needs to be printed as well. So there's usually multiple ways of solving the same problem in Python. And this is just one example of that. In my opinion, this looks a little cleaner than doing that, right? Than escaping out the quotes but sometimes you actually have to do that. Sometimes there's just no other way 
to uh, to get through to get through this problem because you're not always going to be able to use a technique just like this. So one example of this is the following. What if we want to actually actually quote somebody and we want both quotes to print? So I'm going to give you an example of that. So I'm going to type this sentence right here. Sue said, I don't like pizza. Now, I don't understand why Sue wouldn't like pizza. I mean, it's just delicious, but that's not the point here. The point is, it's not gonna work. So do you see the problem with that code? That's one of the most important things is in Python or any programming language to be able to look at it and say, well, I see the problem or, you know, just give it some time and see if you can notice the problem. And, you know, obviously it's giving it away because it's pointing it right there. And what we could see is that we have a little quote mark right there. We have a single quote right in the don't. It's a contraction. And in this case, we want to print a statement. We want to basically say what Sue said and then quote what she said. But in this case, we can't really get away with using different quotes. That's not going to solve it because we're already using different quotes. We have the whole thing wrapped in a single quote. Then we have what she's saying in a double quote, but we have a single quote again right here. But we can just fix this quite simply by just escaping out that quote mark right there. If I press enter, now the print statement works as we intended it to. In the statement prints and the quote is then mentioned there on the terminal. So we were able to get past that problem. So that's just kind of something that you're gonna to need to practice with because you know, practice makes perfect and sometimes it can be kind of confusing, but you know, with strings and printing things, it is something that you're going to need to do. And it, of course, an example is you might have a, a system administration utility that, want, that you wanted to basically give you a list of files that it copied. And you're gonna to have to have a print statement. And the print statement's purpose is to uh, basically print a list of files that were copied and where those files were copied to. So the print statement will have actual functional usage, um, you know, coming up um, in a later video. But that's basically it for this video. Just go ahead and practice with strings and quoting them properly. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you the basics of variables. See you there. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you wanna help me out, go ahead and check out my sponsor and my cloud server provider, Linode. Linode now features a new and improved dashboard, their cloud manager, that makes it an absolute breeze to set up your own Linux server. They even have Arch Linux, how cool is that? And of course they have all the staples such as CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, and more. And it's very easy to set up a server near you. In fact, Linode currently has nine worldwide data centers with two more set to appear this year in India and Canada. So definitely check them out, guys. I appreciate them as a sponsor. I appreciate you guys as a viewer. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I will have more content coming for you very soon. Stay tuned.